Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to the last Deadman Mode All Stars video. We are fully ready and the fights are gonna start in 30 minutes. In hindsight, there's a lot of things we could have better for these fights, but we have a VLS and we have a Zuriel staff. I am looking forward to the fights. Hopefully the Dino Nuggets do well. Unfortunately, we do not have Augury, but I'm very confident. Let's see how the fights go. The tournament runs on a double elimination system. So basically, there is a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket. In order for you to get kicked out of the tournament, you have to lose twice. Meaning that if you win everything from the loser's bracket, you need to end up winning the finals twice. If you win everything in the winner's bracket, you need to win the finals once. And the winners will be fighting for the in-game gold. I think it is best to let Solo Mission explain that. Introducing the brand new Dead Man's Stake. All teams are invited to place as much old school RuneScape gold as they can muster inside the Dead Man's Stake chest. This takes place after the draft and before the competition week even begins. If you think your team has what it takes, fill the chest up for great reward. If you're scared, I guess your chest will look a little empty. Dead Man Stakes are secret sealed bids. Nobody outside of the team that's placed them will know the amount that lies inside their Dead Man's chest. As teams are eliminated in the finale, we will be opening the Dead Man chests one by one to find out what teams have at stake. The winning team will be rewarded by looting the rest of the Dead Man chests up to the value that they were willing to risk themselves. In the very first round of the tournament, all the Block Warriors won versus Torvesta Devils, and after that, it was time for Dino Nuggets, our team, to take on the Bodie Burgers. Our lineup consisted in order of Mats, West Ham, Dino, me, and Rakesy. The way the fights work is it's consistent 1v1s, 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 with no food restocking until there is just one guy standing and the other team has used all five lives of players. The first fight of the first round was Mats versus Donator. Mats did amazingly throughout the tournament and he honestly surprised everybody with how great he did with his Venge tank build. So Donator, he's not careful. He could kill himself, but no, oh, he gets is. killed through the prayer. That was the power of the Verax. Yep. He did really well against Donator and even ended up getting some extra damage in to Sick Nerd. Oh, I just saw a 51 Ballista that. coming in from Mutz right there. He's going to try and catch that freeze right now. He has a Void Waker in his inventory, waiting to use it. Maybe he can guarantee the that, kill. 50 KO. Kill. Great job. He basically gave us a huge lead at the very beginning of the tournament already. Next up was West Ham. He's arguably the MVP of the tournament. He went absolutely crazy in the first round. He destroyed Sick Nerd, ended up beating Bodhi as well, and Bodhi had absolutely ridiculous gear. Hopefully Bodhi starts, uh, he's using it as well, but it's just too late, yeah. he is, he's down. Then also took a quick work of JCW, JCW had a very suboptimal gear setup, let's put it that way. Wait, Still, someone's got it! Skill Specs thinks he was dead, but he wasn't, <laughs> not yet. Okay, and now, now Skill Specs is ready. And to top it all off, he also dealt some extra damage to Skill Specs, making the job for Dino and the rest of us very easy. Third in line was Dino. Dino went ahead and fought skill specs till the very end of the inventory where skill specs came in clutch with a very big Darak hit to finish off Dino. I mean, honestly, I hope skill specs wins this fight just so he can say he's killed someone in this tournament. This has been his dream the whole week. He's had zero kills. Dino, let him have this one. Please, I beg, stop blood barraging so high damage. Does skill specs go? There, there it is! is! Let's go! Skill specs Let's coming go! in with the kill. My team gave me a very easy job in the round one, so all I had to do was walk forward, click VLS and spam click on skill specs. The accuracy of the special attack is extremely high and that is how we secured the very first victory of the tournament. In the round two of the winner's bracket, solo mission snakes won against Oda Block Warriors and after that it was our time to fight the 4k Konas. Going into these fights, we were actually a little bit scared of their gear. They all came in with full crystal and fangs, which on table is insane DPS when played correctly. It all started off with Mutz taking on the Skiddler 
and he actually managed to kill him and not only that, he also impressed everyone with how much damage he then dealt to Ditter Bitter as well. Mutz though, down to only 3 doses of Brew but gets KO'd by a 47, respectfully dropping the good fight. Mutz really impressing me right now with how much he's catching his opponent off prayer. Was that a chance potentially? <laughs> Very the low chance, stack, but a low potentially. One, but maybe he could have actually KO'd it, that would have been an absolutely incredible the Vengeance stack. Um, right now, Ditter getting free reign, getting that KO, there that's honestly is. a very fast kill, he used a bit of his supplies. Next in line for the Dino Nuggets was Mr. Westham, and he managed to absolutely destroy Ditter. I think the Chris, full crystal doesn't have the greatest melee defenses, so doesn't, VLS no. just is gonna, you know, shred through that, oh like, God, like you've just seen there. Five. And not only that, he also managed to give us a huge lead by dealing a lot of damage to Mazar as well. But Westham has a spec, he's gonna utilize that while he still can, going for it here, 21 off prayer on Mazar. Mazar has five food. He needs to take down West Ham and stop this absolute slaughter against his team right now. He goes to Bob Raj. Beautiful well off played, Ray, yeah. and also gets the heal as well right at the end. After that, it was Dino's turn to take on Mazar. In this fight, Mazar did a really good job fighting against Dino, but in the end, Dino managed to kill him and maintained about four food for the next fight. Yeah, it looks like Mazar's going to get taken down very shortly. He's doing a great job at staying alive and doing he as is, much yeah. damage to Dino as possible. Because again, that's what you need to do. And there is the KO. After that, it was Roydy's turn to fight for the K-Konas. And he managed to defeat Dino. He's no way! Is that a he's, triple redemption That is a flick? triple redemption. Wow, and this is why he's the leader, isn't it, of the it, Dino Nuggets? Is can we, get, can we get another one? Oh. He could have he could have done it there, to be fair. If he was ready for it, he might be ready here and doesn't manage to. The Fang takes him out. And after all this waiting, it was finally time for me to prove myself. So I first had to take care of Roydy. Well, let me focus. Mika, you have head right now, so watch out for barraging when he's got spam both on you. Suffering off here, probably. At the end of the fight, when Roydy was out, I actually had all the food left. But somehow, some way, Roydy managed to stay alive and deal a lot of damage back while having almost no HP. This made me use quite a lot of food and I also had to dump all my VLS specs to finish him off. That's a bad bolt from me. Nice. nice. Well done, dude. <clears throat> I'm shaking and not gonna lie, dude. Uh, it's the first fight in so long, I've just been waiting. You got this, man, you got this. So, my goal after that was to deal as much damage to foe as possible. When I fought foe, he barely prayed mage and he barely prayed melee. I cannot land the freeze. Blubber out some of your HP back here. Beautiful work. I'll the speaker. I'm out, get ready. You can probably pop now, Rexy, if you want. Obviously, the extra healing from the Zero Staff. But Mika is out of food. 35 hit points. Foe, if he can take him out soon, he might have a fighting chance to then take on Rakesy. We've not seen what Rakesy can do yet in the tournament. Foe trying to go for those whip hits. 
Going for the bow for now, trying to get him off prayer. Mika doing a great job right now of praying correctly. Can't get any hits off too. Look at Fo! He's like a beautiful ice skater. He's just <laughs> going around everywhere, dodging and diving and ducking. Oh my god, Mika down to how much HP? Eight hit points and he's, and he's out! It. All you, man. All you. Good fight. Okay, Rexy, keep in mind, he's gonna have freeze immunity for a couple seconds because he just killed Mika as he got barraged. It was now on Rexy to secure the round two win. Oh, oh he does. Th there do it, it is. Can Foe get any redemption flicks off is the question. He has seven chances to do this. Can he? Oh. No, he can't do it. Let's nice, Rexy. Let's go. That's oh. so Good big, shit. bro. Good shit. After that, it was time for the losers brackets to play out. Oda Block Warriors secured the win against Bodie Burgers, and this was their chest. And Torvesta Devils managed to defeat Foke Konas. This was their chest. After that, Torvesta Devils had to take on the Oda Block Warriors, where Oda Block managed to bring home the victory, and they were willing to risk this much. And after that, it was time for the Dino Nuggets to take on the Solo Mission Snakes in the winner's bracket. Mutz started off the fight against Solo Mission. This was the only time where Mutz did not win the round 1, however, he managed to deal very good damage to Solo Mission, allowing West Ham to come in clutch right after that and take out Solo Mission without using any food. And also, Ooh. that is a big venge Great stack for Mutz. Just before he goes down, taking up basically all of Solar Mission's last couple supplies. Now he's got to Barrage to get this KO so that Mutz cannot use the Redemption proc. Will he send him off? Will Mutz get any more damage in right at the end of the fight? Solar Mission really trying to catch the freeze. He does. West Ham catching that freeze, stepping underneath. Now we saw West Ham take down like, was it two, maybe three people in a yeah. row earlier? And look at this momentum off the start. I mean, on the plus side for Solar Mission, the Snakes, he has managed to obviously, you know, make sure that West Ham's used two of his VLS specials that he can't use on his opponents. But West Ham now using Blood Barrage. So the next fight he has, he's still going to have full supplies for. And there he goes, he takes him out. Second in line for the solo mission snakes was Coxie, their Bolt Venger, and as you can see, West Ham started to pre-plant flowers in order to counter the Port Cazard's insane new seed strategy. This fight ended up getting a very close, Coxie did an amazing job, but West Ham managed to beat him. To try and minimize as much damage as he can from Coxie, and Coxie, he's got the Venge, Ooh. which is really good. At this point, West Ham had no food left, but he had a VLS spec to use, and he started the fight off by hitting an insane 51 hit on Port Gazard, giving us a huge advantage before going back. A zero! For a zero trade, that is RNG that at is its so finest. Very unlucky. unlucky. Very well played by West Ham, though. Oh, and he's down. And he's but down. losing 50 hit points. Yeah. Fair play to West Ham there. Third in line for the Dino Nuggets was Dino himself, and he had to take on a slightly food-deprived Port Cazard. The fight ended up getting extremely close, but the Dino did go down first. However, he left Port Cazard with no food and no HP to work with. Now Port Cazard oh. up to 76 hit points. Dino, 58 hit points. It is so close. Dino's going to use that special any second now. And if he does, at the very least for Port Cazard's team, it does. he's going to have to use it now. He has what to. What a VLS. Oh, it was off prayer. Uh, that, oh, it was, was almost so well played by both of that them. That was very well played. To get that that you know, Void Waker off prayer, obviously, is massive. Yeah. So it was now my turn to bring the Dino Nuggets from being behind to hopefully slightly better odds. At this point, I know Port is out of food, so all I have to do is open it up with a VLS in hopes that he does not deal any damage to me. Got him. That worked perfectly, and even though the nerves were extremely high, the game plan against Pip was simple. Use the VLS to my advantage.
All right, Miki, you're chilling against Pip, brother. Nice and calm. That could have been it. Chill, chill, chill. No specs left on him, right? I'm not truly. Uh, he has no specs left, no. Absolutely fine, man. Just chill. Beautiful. I'm splashing everything, though. Yeah, you're all good. possible try and DDM a little bit more. Yes sir. For that I need to hit the freeze. That's yeah, true. Yeah, it's a lot man. Yeah. I mean I got you Augury. You're doing amazing Mika man. That's huge. Good job man. Let's get Just it. Keep Nice, well nice, nice. Well right, done. now do as much as you can at the start. This is the last fight, correct? Yeah. Yep. Eli's decent, but you're better, you're fine. One spec down for him, big. Whatever damage you do here is extra. I'm gonna cook his ass. <laughs> I like it. Back down. Nice. You're doing amazing. Man, just whatever damage you get off on him, break CB pre in if you haven't already. What do you guys think I will die or what? <laughs> I mean, you might win, you know, I'll be, I'll be quiet okay. to make sure. You got this, you got this. Fuck. Mika, you Good got luck, this. brother, man. Goes for the hits off prayer, just hitting nothing. Mika has yeah. great defensive capabilities, mm. to be fair. He's like Guffin's Helm. Um, he's also got the Crystal Shield. And he's doing so good, Mika, to keep on the right tank at the right time. But 43 saying that. Right. Here we go. Even though there were mistakes in those fights, I managed to come in clutch for my team by not only finishing Port Gazard, but also outplaying Peep and dealing extra damage to Iliop as well. Leaving it all in the hands of Rexy to bring home the win and put us in the finals. And that's what happens when you have a, mm -hmm. a previous teammate doing some damage to the last member of, of a team. Yeah. It just, it really restricts how much momentum they can rebuild Absolutely. Uh, once they go down. So Yeah, no, this week leading yeah. up to the finals, having that gear, going to those breaches, getting those massive weapons Void way, the VLSs and all that, and the Zero Staffs, it, it makes all the difference. But that was a very yeah, close fight, regardless. Getting Let's go, Rixie, man! Gucci! Let's go, man! Holy fuck. 
After that, we secured our spot in the finals, and solo mission snakes were forced to fight Oda Block Warriors again in the losers bracket. The fight was super close once again, but Oda Block Warriors managed to win this time and move on to the final. And this was their chest. It was now time for the Dino Nuggets to take on the Oda Block Warriors in the first ever DMM All-Stars Final. Mods started it off by fighting against Guns Chili. Two tank vengers going against each other and Mods came in on top with some very nice ballista hits. But not only that, he also made sure to secure the momentum by hitting a massive 50 on Reese. Really neck and neck. Who's gonna go down first? Who gets the proc? A free proc, unlucky for and Mods. The well, ballista there it is. spec! Wait, he used it on Guns Chili? Yeah. Interesting choice. There's the kill. He does get Mutz the KO. Comes in now. He needs to be really careful. Reese is going to get on him as soon as possible. So he needs to try and do some damage. Oh, 50. That, that was is, beautifully done by Mutz. No, that, I mean, honestly, to start that fight up. Great job. Yeah, that is and, and well the vengeance played. too as yeah. well. Yeah. So now Reese is obviously down a little bit of food and every little advantage you can get yeah. in this finale means it. And there we go. Reese takes down Mutz the tank. In the round two, Wesham goes against Reese. Two titans of the game are going against each other. However, West Ham came out on top with a VLS advantage. West Ham keeps calm. Oh, great exchange of specials. Well both, both predicting yep. and catching not off prayer. So pretty reasonable exchange. But right now, Reese down to only two bruise sips left, almost out of food. And West Ham has so much food left, to be mm. fair, going into the next fight if he does manage to take him out. But hey, it's not over just yet. If anyone can pull it back, it's Reese. West Ham with another VLS special of 30 through the prayer. <laughs> Reese now, with the upper hand of being able to step underneath, doesn't get the ball off prayer, gets frozen. And, and a 42 KO. KO. V the victim was the third to fight for the Oda Block Warriors. But West Ham was once again in the zone and he dealt insane amount of damage to V, making the Dino's job very simple in order for us to advance to the next fight. And continuing down the line of, of the players left. West Ham starting to use the redemption procs, trying to stay on as long as he possibly can. Having the DD advantage, going for those blood barrages perfectly, switching in and out of his attack styles, not missing anything. And then V the Victim does get the freeze, but look at V the Victim's <laughs> supplies. At this point, we try to preserve the special attack for the next fight. However, this backfired badly, as V the Victim managed to survive for extremely long time and deal a lot of damage back at the same time. I think this moment is where V the Victim single-handedly brought Oda Block Warriors back into the game. It's, it's a tough call to make Very. right in that situation. Um, but honestly, V the Victim doing so well right now. Yeah. I mean, it's not over yet, even though West Ham had such an incredible performance. V the Victim's played so well against Dino. Another, Another redemption, redemption flick. He decides to, just to go yeah. for it. And he doesn't even kill him either. V the Victim. Very wow. well played by V the Victim. Wow. He, he truly came back and showed everyone how tr how good he is, you know. Dino eventually got the kill and the fourth in line for the Oda Warriors was a cold one. He managed to bring the Dino down and put me in a very hard spot where I have to finish him off. Ancestral mm. and the Zorials. Dino's in really good gear right now and it's showing, it's giving him every single edge. Dino though is now out of food altogether. Use his brew sips, no longer hearted, no longer potted up with the range potion either. Yep. He's gonna use mage as much as possible. Great Huge bonk hit. from cold one. Dino gets his last spec off. Great spec as well. It was a good one. And he's gonna get, temp if he gets 10% uh, more, he can use another spec, which is gonna be huge for his team, but he doesn't, he doesn't. quite oh. get a chance to. Mika, Rexy, do me proud. Does he have spec? No, he shouldn't. He saved some BLSs as well. Yeah. Uh, it's okay.
You can do your best to just hybrid him. Shit. I know you can You're do it. Potted. Another hit off prayer, but no damage connecting right there. Mika used all his brews and only has about six food left. Yeah. So it is actually technically quite neck and neck. A 21 VLS doesn't quite take him out. Mika needs to finish this kit quickly. That Does get him, but a 23. Great damage. Uh, yeah. specs. Nice. Uh, not much. I'm going to do my best though. A cold one played this fight beautifully. He managed to take a lot of food off me, leaving me with only six food to take on the Oda block himself. Two specs down for him. Nice. Hit him with some BLS wipes for me, you got piety. Get out of all the way. Three specs down. Oh no. That's so bad, RNG. That's good. Nice. Ooh, that was you, a chance. You're doing amazing, you're doing amazing. as best he can. Mika clutching it for the Dino Nuggets, doing as much damage as possible. Goes for a fairy one, gets and the, the redemption. redemption fleck as well. Mika staying alive. How is he doing this, he's, Bank? He's doing everything the Dino Nuggets could ever wish for right now. He's staying alive. He's doing DPS. He's setting Rakesy up for a potential win right here. Absolutely. Mika still alive. The redemption coming in again, potentially, if he gets lucky here. Odoblock trying to catch that freeze, just getting no mage RNG. Mika staying alive, there and he's finally is. gone. All your eggs, bro, go crazy. Oda played this fight perfectly. Throughout the entire time, he had a momentum lead on me, and not only that, I had no combo food to work with, so my idea is just deal as much damage as I possibly can. Through quite a decent bit of luck, I managed to survive on very low HP for a very long time, and I also managed to dish an insane amount of damage to him whilst I, in theory, should have been dead. I end up going down, but I leave it in the hands of Rexy to secure the victory for one last time. Rexy now about 120 HP, Oda block into 20, the zero via less, that's so unfortunate for Oda. If he gets frozen here, it could be all over for him, unless he gets another redemption prop. Almost got it there, but he misclicked slightly. Rexy. Rexy. Can he take it? He just needs to wait. He's, he's so close to another spec. And that's a guarantee. There, there it is! The is. Blood he's won! Oh, Let's go! Rexy. Let's go! You're the yeah, boss! You're the tournament. The actual oh, goal! Oh, last man. again, please, I beg. The oh, best to ever do it, man. Good shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Rexy. You're a dear. I fucking love your buddy. Okay, shall we uh, move on to the, uh, oh, the losing yes, team's please. chest reveal? So we'll see what the Odeblock Warriors, uh, what they uh, put in their dead man chest. Very respectable Very nice. amount, 5.1 bill. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that is a bill each for, well, potentially. That if the Dino Nuggets in, yeah. put in enough money. Yeah, this is where it becomes so interesting because if they put barely any money in, they're not going to oh. hit much of that dead man oh, chest. Oh, true. But if they were confident, they had five PVPers, they could take home so much money. Considering we saw earlier the faux cake owners, they put in 35 bill. But then you've also got someone like, uh, was it Torvestus team that put yeah. in only a bill? Exactly, yeah. Where, where, where is Dino Nuggets on this? Yeah. Are they are they up there or are they down there? Shall we find out? Let's play the chest reveal yeah. video for the Dino Nuggets, shall we? Wow. 4.5. 4 respectable. Okay. Well, fortunately for everyone at home, 
Mod Hootie has done the mathematics for us. So, yep. would you like to announce no, how much the Dino Nuggets you. have win? Dino Nuggets are walking away from the All Stars competition with 18.4 billion gold from the other contestants. They put their money where their mouth is. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the insane support during this all-star week and a massive shout out to Solo Mission for actually sending me an invite. If you made it this far in the video and if you've enjoyed the whole event, please do consider to subscribe, maybe like the video, maybe drop a comment as well, and I'll see you again very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.